Thank you. I'm sure a no lot problem. of our viewers would like to gain a knowledge from you. And let me start uh, by asking you very simple questions about the order or the tariqah or your way of making Islam familiar to, to this world. Yes. And I am asking a question to doctor. What was the mission of whole prophets? To teach them about knowledge of God and worship of one God, I think, in my basic... Yes. Uh, the mission of whole prophets was to call people to their Lord's worshipping, to believe in Him, and to give their high respect for their Lord Almighty Allah, and worshipping and servanthood. And beginning from first man, as first prophet, Sayyidina Adam, he was calling people to declare the existence and the unity and to be our witness for the existence and the unity of Allah Almighty. And it was a long way from Sayyidina Adam up to the last prophet, the seal of prophet Sayyidina Muhammad, peace be upon him. And according the prophet's information, the number of prophets, they were 124,000 prophets. And we are believing in all of them that everyone, they were best ones through their times, and all of them clean and pure soul people, sure. connecting to heavenly beings, mm -hmm. taking revelations from heavens and guiding people unto their Lord Almighty Allah. So they had all the all of them had the same message is what you are saying. Mainly their messages on two points. Mm -hmm. One to declare the existence and the unity of Allah Almighty. And then to call them for servanthood to yes. their Lord. And this message just passed through whole prophets up to the last one, the seal of prophets. Prophet Muhammad. Muhammad, Sayyidina Muhammad, peace be upon him. And prophecy, it was like a new moon at the beginning, beginning with Sayyidina Adam, mm -hmm. and then coming to be much more perfect, becoming more perfect, and reaching with the seal of prophets, yes. and going to be a full moon. Therefore, the prophecy of the seal of prophets, Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, was for whole mankind forever. forever. Because nothing after full moon, someone may expect a perfection. Correct. There cannot be any better light than the no, light of the full moon. can't be. Cannot be, yes. Can't be. Indeed. Cannot be. Now, uh, as far as his message, which is the message of the Qur'an, how does one understand it? Is there a special way of understanding God and also understanding His message through the Prophets? Understanding men of God Almighty Allah, if they are thinking through their, through their minds, it should be easy to know 
that must be there a creator. Mm-hmm. Because man on himself can do a test about himself. Mm-hmm. And as when we are looking to mankind through creation, they are most perfect creatures. You mean the world is a perfect world? Is that what you're saying? No. They are on perfection mm-hmm. among other creatures. I see, compared to the other mm. creation. But even through their perfections and authorities to do anything that they have been granted mind and willpower. Yes. But they, are, they were looking and seeing that something over our minds, mm-hmm. over our understandings, and something out of our wills becoming. So that if anyone going to think on that point, he must say that some unseen, powerful being must be mm-hmm. in existence mm-hmm. that that one guiding us so that to, our, to our destinations. And we can't be able to judge on ourselves mm-hmm. unless he is judging for ourselves. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Therefore, if a person going to think must declare the existence of that one, mm-hmm. that through our beliefs we are saying that his name is Allah. So you, you're saying two things, as I understand it, that there is a, the role of, of thinking or mind which may lead us to the knowledge of God, but also that intuitively one also knows that there is a God. Am I correct in interpreting what you have just said? Yes. If mindly thinking, we are going to find. But we can't be able to bring the Creator's divinely mm-hmm. attributes as it is. Therefore, we are in need heavenly revelations to teach us. Therefore, the Lord of Heavens just sent his prophets to teach, yes. to uh, declare, uh, to inform, to guide us, and guide us right. to his uh, existence. Right. But now that there will not be any more prophets, and the world as we see it is going away from God, how does one find God? What, what are the approaches that are available to one? And what is your own teaching that has brought so many followers to listen to you? Now, in our living in another mm, time of Jahiliya, yes. even so many universities, so many science, and I am passing through universities sometimes, and I am saying, this university also, I don't think that they are teaching Allah. Because now in our days, universities, they are not adding heavenly knowledge as a knowledge. So God is not in the curriculum. Uh, yeah, yeah, that is. I see. They are not uh, accepting to involve through their works, through their lives, a heavenly being. They are so proud, like Nimrods or Pharaohs. Pharaohs, yes. They are asking to be God on earth. Yes. Therefore, they are trying to be tyrants, to be dictators, yes. to say people for them, you are our Lord, you are our God. Yes. As said before them, so many foolish 
heads of mankind, like pharaohs and Nimrods. Any university, I am not seeing that they are adding um, Torah, or Zebur, or Bible, or Quran, either Old Testament, New Testament, or Last Testament, to be taught for students. They are not accepting them as a knowledge. Therefore, now it is so difficult to do anything on the new generation because they are learning something against whole holy books. But why does God have to be taught at the universities? Universities, they are claiming that they are teaching and guiding people. Where is we are going to teach people? If universities preventing it, saying that is, it is not uh, real things, mm -hmm. it is some imaginations, mysticism, they are saying about whole revelations, mm -hmm. they are denying. And if new generation learning this, coming after you, to, to listen to you, and I'm sorry to say that, whole Muslim countries on same route, wrong direction. You mean education within the Muslim countries is also lost? Lost, mm -hmm. because West, mm -hmm. they are following the atheist education. Atheist, atheist edu education, as long as continues on earth, no peace comes on earth. True. That is the way of shaitan, mm -hmm. to make people not to believe in the God, mm -hmm. in the Lord of heavens, mm -hmm. that he creator, creating man and guiding them. Mm -hmm. Therefore, this big trouble mm -hmm. bringing. Now, how can we correct this mess? Now, the universities are not teaching, the educational institutions, you're already telling me that they are not doing their job. So, where does find knowledge, the real knowledge which is based on... Real knowledge must be through universities. Mm -hmm. Whole teaching centers firstly must teach at the beginning preliminary education on a strong faith. Mm -hmm. they, are, they are building, uh, establishing their uh, knowledge on uh, what you saying Atheist, atheist, right. atheist princi principles. How that boy should be a, a believer or a faith people? But you see, knowledge has become an end in itself now, and therefore man thinks that he is the master of his destiny. What comments do you have on that? Science, there is knowing how fly flying how ant running, how what feel uh, elephant, mm -hmm. how so uh, lightly running, mm -hmm. such a things. Mm -hmm. They are knowledge, knowledge that belongs to heavens, mm -hmm. belongs to destination, real destination of mankind. Not how lion hunting, how uh, deers running away, how uh, television uh, showing, how computers working, it is not uh, knowledge. Knowledge about yourself. Man arifa nefsa, fakat arifa rabba. Well, let us talk then about marifa. What is this hey, process? Marifa, uh, we, ha we haven't any uh, foundation to build on it. Mm -hmm. Marifa needs something before. What is marifa for those who don't marifa, know? Marifa to Allah. Knowledge of God. To know, God. to accept mm -hmm. that there is a God who created universe, mm -hmm. who created man and landing them on this planet for a period. So how does that knowledge come? Where does one acquire that knowledge? As we begin, we said about it that such a knowledge, they need heavenly revelations. Of course. Because people can't be able to think and to find it. Mm -hmm. If it was possible through thinking to find something, then the Lord of Heavens he is not in need to send prophets and Correct. no messages, no messengers. Of course, yes. So now we know that all the messages have come, 
all the prophets have come and gone. And there is no prophet coming. There is no more message coming. I, and said, now, I said to you that prophecy beginning as a crescent and finishing, ending through the last prophet, prophet. as a full moon. If they are looking after what he brought, it is enough for yes. mankind to, to guide them to their destinations. Of course. So in, now that you have pointed out that there is a source of knowledge already there for man to use, the difficulty, it seems to me, is that man is not able to use that knowledge for some reason, whether it is the university training or learning which is taking him away from God. And now that universities are not teaching, there has to be a role by other people, other institutions. What are the various ways that one can approach this problem? Oh, doctor, it is so weak way. If universities, that they are taking whole generation, teaching them uh, in atheist uh, directions, what you can do through mosques, you are bringing seven, eight, uh, 30, 40 small ones, mm -hmm. teaching Quran, saying them, Amantu billah wa malaikati wa kutubi wa rasuli wa yom al-akhir wa min qadir khayri wa sharim na wa ta'ala. This is, when they are going to university, it disappears. That's right. Governments, whole governments, they must live the way of atheist education. Or, or, the, the Lord of Heaven should punish them. Mm -hmm. U.S. beginning, because they are claiming they are boss of the world. If they are boss of the world, they must live the way of atheist education. And I am sorry to say that your president put in his hand. Why? He believing in Bible and through their schools, atheist education. Mm -hmm. For what this? Mm -hmm. Well, I think that uh, your, your criticism of the modern education is, is very valid and there are a lot of people in this country who feel that way also. But I think what I'm trying to also get from you is your own direction, the road that you have taken, the way you are leading your people. I want to hear about that. You are a doctor. Yes. Yes. Are you saying to your students any time, about Allah for this body? I do my best. I will not tell you what I tell them, but yeah. I do. You what can't do. You can't say. Yes. That is university. They are saying, what is that? Here is church or temple. They should say to you, go temple. If you are asking to say anything for Allah, for the Creator, go temple and make your advice there. Don't say anything on the students. They should say to you, well, I th now I am coming to my aspect. Mm -hmm. I am a weak servant, but I have been ordered, as everyone or has been ordered, to be good one in himself and good one for others. Mm. And as my weakness, I am trying to call people to their Lord's worshipping. But what we can do, you must, you must think a huge desert, and through that huge desert, you may find a oasis. Oasis, yes. As much as there is a water, going to be green, a little yes. bit, a piece of land. Yes. But it is not enough to bring green to whole desert. Right. What I am doing, it is only a well, small well, I am taking and putting around myself a few plants and to be a green oasis. If anyone through deserts, they are uh, fed up from deserts and tired and um, What's saying? And are looking for depression. Right. Depressed, depressed people to come and to rest. Mm -hmm. A free rest place. Mm -hmm. That is my uh, effort. Effort only. Nothing else. I can't do more than this. And no one can do. There is perhaps hundreds 
oasis, but hundred oasis, hundred that means hundred wells, can't give to a huge desert life and green. Therefore, I am looking that there is a heavenly promise. When the last day is approaching, the Lord of heavens should involve for his servants to guide them. With that hope, we are patient Inshallah. and looking. And as prophets saying, the seal of prophets fish upon him, in Tizarul Faraji Ibada, to look after good days. It is a kind of worshiping. worshiping. Right. Now, of, uh, to, get, to take this further, uh, since these people are coming to your oasis, uh, people like me, people who are tired, well, people uh, who want to come. Free tea. <laughs> free. <laughs> I am sure your, your, your hospitality free is more than that. Breakfast. Sometimes brunch. Sometimes yes. uh, curry. Sometimes dry rice. But, uh, Everything you can find. But as the saying goes, uh, man should not live by bread alone. So it, I'm sure it goes beyond that. It, be, it goes beyond food. And I'm asking... The people coming with their horses, if they are not giving something to eat, they are escaping. That's right. Allah, beyond, beyond right. food and drinks. That's but right. uh, we are men, we are not God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We must eat and drink, therefore they are happy yes. right. to be with me. But I think is, that isn't the only source of happiness that they are with you for. There is probably other reasons. Must be. Yes. Because they, they may find everywhere eating and drinking, but when they are coming to a um, holy place, they should find another baraka. We are saying baraka. Mm -hmm. Blessings. Blessings. Blessings, food and drinks, making them more happy. And happiness coming from inside, not from outside. But what specific examples, what specific advice, what specific ways for are, me, f right, that I'm, you... I am using as much as possible my tolerance. That it was is, the way of the Prophet also. It is not, uh, yes, it is not from me, but Prophet was saying, yassiru wa la tu'assiru, bashiru wa la tunafiru. Therefore, this time, whom they are using this, that order from Prophet, they should be successful. I am looking hundreds of center of Dawas, no one coming to them to say, uh, to say Shahada. But when I am walking, hundreds of people coming to Islam. Yes. Because I am using what Prophet is saying. Yes, Siru, make it easy. Mm -hmm. Make the entrance of paradise too wide. Open. Why make it like this? That's very true. They are making so narrow, if anyone a little bit, uh, <laughs> what is this? <laughs> little fat or little... Little fat, uh, they are not opening too much uh, that door. door. Right. And you can't, must come like this, can't. I can't pass. <laughs> so you are they are making, making so narrow the entrance of paradise. Yahoo, you are not Allah, leave that. A paradise open to be open for everyone. East and West, whole people let them in, in comes in. That is up to him. It yes. is going to be less his mercy, his blessings. Yes. He grant to you Iman, may grant to them Iman. Yes. Use that tolerance. That's right. But people they are so tough. When did you actually start this process of, of teaching and since fifty years? I started calling people to the right direction up to today. And that is a divinely grant to me. And I am hopeful that coming days, particularly, 2000 year should be 
a new beginning Inshallah. for the life of mankind as 20th century represented whole kufr whole unbelief cursed right ways that unaccepted from heavens they followed uh, the Jal people that the Shiro prophets he had been informed the coming uh, Dajjals and Antichrist. Antichrist, yes. Antichrist, 30 of them, all of them just appeared through 19 and 20th, 20th century and they did their worst for mankind. They did, they lead people on fire, on every evil, and they uh, produced countless devils, and they invented countless ways to make people to fall in troubles and miseries and evil. But this is all a part of the uh, of the Quran anyway. Throughout ages there have been civilizations yes. which have come and Holy which have Quran done the same thing. And uh, Prophet, as he was the last Prophet, Nabi Yusa, that he belongs to Qiyamah, as himself Day of Judgment was was the first sign of Yawm al the Day of Resurrection. Mm -hmm. He informed coming days and signs of Yawm al mm -hmm. the Day of Judgment. The coming of the Day of Judgment, yes. Uh, therefore, as he said, just going to appear. Yes. And he informed so many science mm -hmm. that everything we said now at the beginning also that this is the time of a Jahil. second Jahiliya. Of course, period of ignorance, yes. Even, even so many universities and uh, schools, colleges, mm -hmm teaching people, but they are not teaching about the real Real heavens. Yes. That should be. But we are not hopeless for coming days, because Haq must appear, and battle must disappear. Of course. Now, coming back to your own start, which was 50 years back first, mm. Now, where did you start and where did you go? I want you to trace that history a little bit for... I am, I am not starting on Earth and ending on Moon. No, I, I... started on Earth Of and course you moon. did, right. Going on. Yes, but where on Earth and from where to where and how did this whole thing expand? How did the group hey, expand? That is something spiritual also. It is not only through our uh, mind's limits. Mm -hmm. What we are doing as a, a spiritual mm -hmm. teacher, we are using also some spiritual uh, powers. Mm -hmm. What do you mi mean by spiritual powers? What prophets they had mm -hmm. to attracting people. Their followers, step by step, should be granted what they have been granted. And we are saying, prophets, they have been given miracle, miracles. Of course, yes. Mujizatun, right. baliratun, right. baligat. Of course. And for his nation, for his ummah, whom they are following him, step by step, that power that granted Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam 
stepping through them also. You mean to say that that miraculous power which was given to the prophets was also transferred to the real believers yes, within that community? must be. I see. If no, the real faith can't, can't uh, reach to ourselves. Mm -hmm. But you do not mean miracles for the, for the believers in the sense of a miracle that, that is... Uh, uh, do you mean it allegorically? Do you mean it if, by way if of... If I am... Uh, I am not... I don't mean to say that uh, a, a miracle to walk on water... That's right. ...to fly on the uh, sky... Uh, Planes flying, right, and men flying, flying in it, mm -hmm. and submarines under sea, under sea, mm -hmm. swimming, mm -hmm. going, mm -hmm. and men in it also. Mm -hmm. On the sea, men also with uh, ships, vessels mm -hmm. may go. Mm -hmm. Therefore, it is not important such a things. Mm -hmm through uh, real uh, believers. Mm -hmm. You mean these scientific miracles are also a part of God's revelation to mankind? A, for guiding. Yes. Because uh, guidance must continue up to end mm -hmm. of the world. Mm -hmm. As Prophet he said, لا تزال طائفة من أمة ظاهرين على الحق حتى تقوم الساعة. Prophet وسلم, informing that such a people mm -hmm. whom on their hug is stepping must be up to end of the world. Mm -hmm. Those people carrying also mm -hmm. spiritual powers. But now in our days they are hidden. Mm -hmm. You mean to say that then there are, as I see it through your discussion, I see that there are people who have the knowledge uh, in, in bigger amounts, and then there are those of us who have very little knowledge or no knowledge. Are you saying that uh, those who have we bigger, are, who we, have the knowledge, are, are hidden? We are speaking on knowledge, and we are saying real knowledge yes. through revelations from mm -hmm. heavens. Who had some knowledge, yes. as Holy Quran saying that when uh, Nabi Suleiman, mm -hmm. that other people they are saying King Solomon, mm -hmm. when he asked to bring the throne of Belkis, mm -hmm. his wazir, his Queen minister, Shiba, yes. Quran saying, who had been given a knowledge from book, mm -hmm. with that knowledge that belongs to heavens, yes. he brought her throne in a blink of eye in front of Yes, when God says, yes, that kun is, for your kun. That is some power. Yes. If given the minister of Suleiman, mm -hmm. peace be upon him, it is not difficult for Allah to give same power mm -hmm. to someone from the Ummah of Bilawd and praise Muhammad, peace be upon him. Right. And that power, that power already among Ummah, but only the, the reason that these signs must appear. Mm -hmm. So then there are people with knowledge who... who Divinely who, knowledge, right. heavenly knowledge people, they are in existence yet mm -hmm. up to end of the world. Yes. So now, taking that further, you who happen to have started a process of of defining or at least pointing the way for a lot of people, and I see uh, uh, some of uh, your followers here, you started 50 years back and you started uh, in Cyprus, if I'm... And then, um, would you like to tell us from uh, your own experience as, as to what really made you do that? I started through Damascus. I see. Which that is a ancient and one of most holiest cities in well, Islam. 
Of course, the, even in Christianity, Saul on the way to Damascus, the scales fell off his eyes and he saw according to the Christian Bible. So yeah. that was... Yes. Therefore, if anyone asking some spiritual powers, spiritual power people, you can find through Damascus easily. Mm -hmm. And I found that one. Who did you find and what, what happened? I mean, this is quite uh, interesting I, for me. He, he, found, he found me. Because everyone just chose for some purposes. Mm -hmm. And I was one of that ones whom chose for this way. So he found him. you and you didn't know about him? No. Because they are Sahibu Keshfin. Mm -hmm. They have opening mm -hmm. to know about destinations of people through their miraculous powers. Through their contemplation yes. and meditation. And yes. they may they may hook you in. Oh, yes. That's hook right. People. So many people from east, from far east, from far west. Yes. Hooked and coming. Yes. I have big enough hooks. Well, it's one very after one. it's it's very obvious. But I'm talking about your own process of getting hooked. I'm going back to that. So this person recognized you and hooked you in. Yes. And then how long were you there and what happened then? Oh, I was with him uh, 40 years. Well, what was his name and? His name was Sheikh Abdullah Dagestani. Dagestani, yes. Dagestani. Yes. One of the great masters mm -hmm. of mankind mm -hmm. in our days. Yes. And by divinely uh, blessings, I reached to him. Mm -hmm. Did and you have a, uh, did you have some sort of a, uh, of an inkling, a dream or anything that led you towards him? Why did you leave Cyprus? Why did you go to Damascus? Uh, no need uh, dreams, but without dreams, they may uh, catch, mm -hmm. they may train, they may give permission and their powers going through that ones whom they are choosing him. That's right. So you, you were with him for 40 years, and then after that you stepped out to carry the mission forward. When he passed away, yes, he ordered to me, mm -hmm. by the order of Holy Prophet, mm -hmm. to call so, people yes. and to guide people mm -hmm. as much as possible. I see. So then you were in Damascus, and then what was your next step after that? Next step, to learn and to train, and to teach and to train. To, to teach what? And to train what? Uh, teaching people what they have in need to know, and then to make them to step according to, your, to their knowledge to their destinations through heavens. So uh, what really you have been doing is to give them... I am only looking to them. Yes. If I am looking, sometimes my looking is enough. Yes. Without so, his speaking. So you have that communication, that ability to communicate with them is what yes. is. Yes. I see. I am in uh, contact with heavenly powers time by time. When they are opening, it is okay. Yes. Now, when you say that you are contact with heavenly powers, you are not talking about uh, Staghfirullah getting a wahi or uh, no, getting it. No, wahi, that's finished. Yes. But it is a communication mm -hmm. with the spiritual power running from prophet mm -hmm. to the hearts of mm -hmm. believers mm -hmm. and awliyas. Yes. Now, when you say awliyas, uh, uh, what is the, what is your definition of awliyas for the viewers who don't know anything about this? What is, who are these awliyas? That's his holy Quran. Yes. You yes. must know. Yes, I... Why are uh, going to be not no, knowing about No, them? I think my saying that will not really 
help the viewers. The viewers will all, you are the sheikh, they would like to hear from you, not from me. I am, I am just... A, if a person believing in Holy Quran, mm -hmm. then, and what is mentioned through Holy Quran, they must believe in him, in that. Mm -hmm. And Prophet Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, just he granted from the nur mm -hmm. that came to him mm -hmm. through revelations to his Sahaba, mm -hmm. to his companions, and after companions, they are in contact and coming the their generation. communication to others, tabi'in, tabi'in, tabi tabi'in, right. so that up to date, yet must be the process continues. A power center mm -hmm. mm -hmm. for Ummah. Mm -hmm. Now be cut down. Yes. Uh, now, so you started to teach the people at that time in Damascus, but after that, there has been a, a progress over the course of the last 30, 40 years of your teaching. Could you tell us a little bit about that? What happened uh, f from Damascus? Where did you go? Or what? Oh, I, I, after Damascus, I have been in several places, in several countries. Uh, about 50 years, I am always traveling. Mm -hmm. Perhaps more than uh, one week, I am not sleeping in the same place. Mm -hmm. I am always uh, traveling. Mm -hmm. Sayyah. Yes, of course. Yes. Sayyah. Yes. Up to day. Mm -hmm. Firstly, I was uh, in Syria. In Lebanon, mm -hmm. in Jordan, in Cyprus, in Turkey, then coming and opening for Western countries, and uh, before seven, eight years ago, an opening to Far East. Where in Far East? Malaysia. Malaysia. Pakistan. Brunei, mm -hmm. uh, Sri Lanka, up to there, uh, Brunei. Mm -hmm. And before uh, two years ago, my son-in-law, he was here, and they invited me to come. Yes. And before we have so many followers, when I am going to be in London for occasion of Holy Ramadan, sure. they are coming from here to pray with me, Taraweeh, and at, fasting with me. At the Peckham Mosque. Right? The <laughs> yes. Peckham Mosque. Yes. Right. And Shakal Lane also. Yes, yes. And they were inviting me too much, but I always were refusing to come mm -hmm. too long distance. Mm -hmm. But Finally, uh, when Allah Almighty uh, giving his orders, it must be done. Right. Therefore, before two years ago, I first uh, coming and visiting U.S. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking not to come once again, but another occasion that my son-in-law, Sheikh Hisham, mm -hmm. uh, he bought a center, in a good center in Michigan. And you've come for and the opening. he asked for an opening. That is the reason another right. uh, occasion to come here. You have a following in so many different countries. There must be a reason why. Uh, how many followers do you have presently, or how many people follow uh, what you uh, teach? You are saying that I am traveling through many countries and traveling everyone must know that it is the sunnah of whole prophets and i'm stepping on their sunnah their way their right. yes right people difficult to reach them mm -hmm. but it is easy for them to reach to people by traveling by traveling yes therefore we are using the way of prophets, prophets. whom they travel and i am traveling 
Yes. So, uh, approximately how many uh, followers uh, or how many people are... I, I haven't a, uh, a computer for adding. <laughs> but surely you have a guess of 5,000, 10,000, 15,000. I, I don't know. All right. And well, it is not important for me to, uh, to add them. No, but my, the reason I was asking is uh, if there are 10,000 or 15,000 and there is still a progressive growth in the followers, I'm asking you why are they coming to you? Growing. Yes. Here by here, they are growing, increasing. Mm -hmm. Increasing. And we, I hope that I should reach millions of people Inshallah. to catch them, mm -hmm. to save them from devils. I see. Now, what makes your teaching interesting to them? Because I am making them to be happy, to be hopeful, to be enjoyful. Hopeful of what? For what? eternal life. If no eternal life, what is hope for man? I see. Every day they are using their hope, mm -hmm. but we are giving hope, mm -hmm. not hope. Yes. The iman mm -hmm. or eternal life to believe. Mm -hmm. So you, what you are saying then is that by strengthening their belief, yes, they become hopeful. Yes. That is the process. Am yes. I correct? We are going to make more strength. Mm -hmm. for them, mm -hmm. through their faith. Mm -hmm. That means yaqeen. Yaqeen, yes. Yaqeen, mm -hmm. uh, certainty. Right, certitude, certainty. Certitude. Right. Certitude, yes. Certitude, right. good word. Oh. Thank you. Well, welcome. Well, now, uh, in, the, in these processes of, of teaching, uh, do you personally sit with them, what is the kind of interaction, what do you teach them, how if someone totally new comes to you and says, Sheikh Nazim, I'm here, what do I do now? What do you tell him? We are using the way of Silo Prophets. Yes. So upon him, as he began from making people to say, La ilaha illallah. And no more else. There is no God but God. So f and they are coming, sitting like that one, sitting. I am not saying anything. Another coming and sitting. Mm -hmm. They are just listening. hearing and listening. Mm -hmm. They are balancing. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I am using my attractive power on them, mm -hmm. and. Then their hearts beginning to ask more mm -hmm. and to come. And then, before uh, three nights ago, I was in San Francisco. One uh, reverence came, church, priest, church official, yes, coming and sitting. Mm -hmm. Forty minutes an association. He was so happy, second night he is coming another mosque, mm -hmm. Afghani mosque, sitting at the end he is coming and saying, I am asking to say shahad. Inshallah. And one priest is more important than 100 common people. You really think so? Yes. Why? Because they are learning people, mm -hmm. and they are practicing their religion. Mm -hmm. And when Haq is going to appear, they are saying, you are all right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it needs some power. Yes. Not every ordinary scholar may do that. Yes. No. Right. So ordinary scholars, they are not knowing from there they should begin. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I think this is, this is a question of application of knowledge. How does one apply the knowledge? The scholar may have knowledge, but he may not be able to apply it. 
Yes. Now, um, in that dimension, in that sense, Sufism, from the early days of Islam, has followed a certain way and has also gotten a certain kind of reputation historically. Uh, what is Sufism? Uh, how is it different Sufism, from... Sufism, that is main purpose of religion. Sufism, that is purification of mankind. But it is a term that he, it was in the time of prophet, but no, no named, but after his time named as a sophism. Mm -hmm. That is the way of purific purification mm -hmm. of souls. I see. So the prophet himself was a Sufi without calling himself a Sufi. Yeah. No need to say. Right. But for to be understand as a knowledge through every branches mm -hmm. at, your, at the time of Aristo, mm -hmm. Aristotle. medicine mm -hmm. in, is uh, all in one book. Right. But now, so many branches. Right. Therefore, no uh, any um, money, no... So there are many ways to approach knowledge. Yes. It is not prohibited to be said sophism, mm -hmm. to, to use as a, uh, as a means of discovering. Uh, but Tazkiyat to nafs. Tazkiyat to nafs, that is sophism. Mm -hmm. That's an understanding that is, of, yes. of, of self. How you are going to make a tazkiyah mm -hmm. for your nafs? That your nafis is a nafs in the nafs al amara to be su. Right. Everyone's nafs, that Allah Almighty giving that mm -hmm. description, amara to be su, ordering with worse things. Mm -hmm. How you can be able to make a tazki on you? Mm -hmm. Now, talking of nafs now, uh, how do you, what, what kind of nafs are we talking about? There, are there other kinds of nafs besides nafs amara or...? Uh, mostly, everyone, they have nafs and amara to be so. Mm -hmm. so. How do you translate that? Uh, everyone has, through himself, good desires and bad desires. Mm -hmm. Good desires from their souls, Absolutely. bad desires from their bad egos. I see. So then what happens in this process of purification is that you try to leave the bad desires of ego. Am I correct? Or is that a process? You must, because Sharia making it clear. Yes. In the Hada Lefi Sohovil Ula, Sohovi Ibrahim of Musa. This verse is just clearing everything for, for those who are asking a purification mm -hmm. through themselves. Yes. The way of purification, uh -huh. you must make Tazkiya to Nafs. So you should first take account of yourself. Yes. Yes. And prove that he did. For his Sahabas, mm -hmm. whose Sahabas, Tazekka. Mm -hmm. His companions. Yes. Right. And we must try through their ways to make same Tazkiyah, mm -hmm. same purification. Mm -hmm. And often uh, level criticism against the Sufis historically has been that they have accepted uh, a concept of pantheism or they have seen God everywhere and they have deviated or gone away from the Sharia in preference to a tariqah. Now, do you think that non-Muslims, they are saying against Holy Prophet, harming him and his mission? Because they are not knowing, they are jahil. That's right. 
those people who are against Sophie ways, they are also against Sophie ways, because if a person not knowing something, going to be enemy for it. Right. Ignorance brings. Ignorance. Right. Bringing them to be against Sophism. You said, looking everywhere to Allah. Mm -hmm. And Holy Quran saying, وَهُوَ مَعَكُمْ أَيْنَ مَا كُنْتُمْ And Holy Quran saying, أَيْنَ مَا تُوَلُّوا فَسَمَّ وَشْهُ اللَّهِ Those mostly uh, objecting people, I am sorry to say, but they are Arabs. And then they must understand what is the meaning أَيْنَ مَا تُوَلُّوا فَسَمَّ وَشْهُ اللَّهِ or, وَهُوَ مَعَكُمْ أَيْنَ مَا كُنْتُمْ What does it mean to you, so that we will explain it to our viewers? <laughs> what does it mean to you? A man mm -hmm. must know that he has been created by his Lord Almighty Allah, mm -hmm. and he only one controlling him. God is. No one can control himself. Whole control Mm -hmm. in the hands of Allah mm -hmm. Almighty, mm -hmm. we have been given a short willpower. Mm -hmm. It is only for us. Mm -hmm. But irada mm kulli, -hmm. whole willpower mm -hmm. for the only one, mm -hmm. for Allah. Mm -hmm. And He is leading people, mm -hmm. guiding people. Therefore, we believe that if he is not with us, we can't be in existence. Mm -hmm. His power, we are not speaking on that. Mm -hmm. That means his essence. Mm -hmm. Divine essence, we are not speaking on it. Mm -hmm. No. Speaking of attributes. No, no one can say this. Mm -hmm. No, no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we are only speaking on his divine attributes divinely holy names and his F.R. actings. Mm -hmm. I'm not speaking on essence. That is Gaibu uh, Mutlak. No one knows about it, about that. Mm -hmm. We are only speaking that Allah Almighty's power must be with you. His will must be with you so that you may be in existence. Because if he is taking his power, mm -hmm. no more doctor here. Mm -hmm. If he is taking his power from whole universe, no more universes in existence finish, mm -hmm. disappears. Therefore, when he is saying to say, إِنَّ مَا أَمْرُهُ إِذَا عَرَضَ شَيْءٍ أَنْ يَكُولَ لَهُ كُنْ فَيَكُونَ Kun, come in existence, may come thousands of universes like this. Mm -hmm. When he's saying, go away, mm -hmm. disappear, disappears, without reaching cap to noon. Of course, yes. Therefore, we are, we are saying, when Allah with us, don't think that, like you, coming to be with me, in, my, in me. No, mm -hmm. no hulud no, in Islam. No. But, his power with us, mm -hmm. his knowledge with us, mm -hmm. his will with us, mm -hmm. and we are standing yes. in existence. Yes. We must believe that he is with us mm -hmm. through his powers, through his will, mm -hmm. through his knowledge. Mm -hmm. He is knowing where he are, us, what we are doing, what is going to be. Mm 